Hey there, so now that God has brought you out of that place and, and you fell out of the frying pan, you fell into the fire over here, you know, that's where the, the sifting and the purifying takes place, is in that, that, that place over there, you know. Um, but that's the place where God can work on you, where He can mold you, where He can shape you, where He can get rid of the impurities, where He can grow the good things or activate some of the stuff that you didn't even know was there, you know. But everything everything that goes through a sifting process, that goes through a purifying process, everything that goes through a process like that, or a smelting process, needs, has a time that it needs to come out, when it needs to come out of the fire, you know. And... And God will bring you out of that fire like shining gold, I would like to say. Um, you know, um, in Isaiah 43 verse 2, say, it, it says, When you walk through fire, you shall not be burnt, and the flames will not consume you. Psalms 40, uh, Psalm 66 verse 12 says, We went through fire and water, but you brought us out to a place of abundance or rich fulfillment. New King James says. So God brings you out into abundance. So through this process, you know, um, in Daniel 3, where, where it talks about, you know, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, it, it's, so, it, it's one of the most phenomenal things for me there this morning when it hit me, when, you know, the only thing they did was serve God diligently. They served God. They had faith in God. They prayed only to Him. And when instruction came that they cannot not allowed to, um, you know, they're not allowed to pray. They're not allowed to serve God. And they were seen and the guys clicked because people were jealous of them about the favor that was over their lives. And then that's when they got tossed into, you know, into the fire. And what what's fascinating for me about this in chapter 3 of Daniel, verse 26 and 27, it says, Nebuchadnezzar went near the mouth of the burning fiery furnace the burning fiery furnace it says and spoke it say, saying Shadrach Meshach and Abednego servants of the most high God come out and come here and the Bible says they came from amidst the fire and the, what I like here is like everybody that was gathered the satraps administrators governors the king's counselors they get it they saw these men on whose bodies the fire had no power the hair on their head was not singed. And this is fascinating. The smell of fire was not on them. And we all know how fire can stink, especially if you had somebody's braai and it's not a, even worse when it's not a well-ventilated space, maybe. But even if it is, that smell of smoke, it's stuck in your hair and in your clothes and alles. And it doesn't matter. You can't wear that shirt again tomorrow. You have to wash it first, you know. And the smell of fire was not even on them. How amazing is that? How God protects you you know the bible says god goes before you so he prepares the way already so by the time you get into the space where he's molding you where he's shaping you these challenges that you're facing these things that you need to go through that is equipping you along the way that you don't even know yet because we 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 sometimes start and we sometimes miss the point of it all and and then we we are barely keeping our head above water you know where we are surviving and not living yet. We have these moments. But God's already there. And I, and I know He's going to send you the right people, the right notification, the right, the right... Yeah, notification is the right word, actually. It's going to pop up and it's going to hit you and going, ah, it's preparation. Okay. And then hopefully in that moment, well, not hopefully, it will. Your mind will adjust and you'll start seeing and you'll start looking for the answers. Oh man, it's going to be so fascinating and it's so amazing when you get to that point and you, you start seeing this process and then when God brings you out. You know, Deuteronomy 1 verse 30 says, The Lord your God who goes before you, He will fight for you. So not only go, He goes before you, He fights for you as well. So He was ready. He was waiting for the guys in that fiery furnace. He was waiting for them there. They prepared it already. That's why the guy said these were four people in there and one like, look, and one like the Son of God. I think one of the translations is like a son of the gods. Um, but that's because, also purely because they were serving other gods at that time as well, you know, these people. But uh, the New King James says like the son of God, and I love that. Um, because, you know, that's who we get told it is, and that's who I believe it is as well. 
Further in Deuteronomy, in, in chapter 31, verse 8, you know, it says, And the Lord, He is the one who goes before you. And it says, He will be with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. So do not fear nor be dismayed. And don't be fearful. Don't be afraid in that place where you're sitting, in the place where God's shaping you. He's gone before you. He will fight for you. He won't leave you. He's with you while you are in this. You know, He was with the guys in the fire. Hebrews eleven six then says that he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. We need to start believing that as well. And that's where your mind will start shaping too. Because if you start seeking God in all these things that you are handling, all these things that you're going through, everything that, if you start seeking God through all this, you will find him. The Bible also says those who seek him will find him. God says that to us. He says, if you seek me, you will find me if you seek me with all your heart. Now, the, the funny instruction over here that, that came when the guys were not allowed to serve God anymore and they threw him into the fire, you know, the thing that hit me this morning. <laughs> so they didn't stop to serve God. They did it anyway. And what did the enemy try and do here? He tried to stop them. He tried to get rid of them. He, he tried, you know, this is what he tries. He tries to get rid because he knows. He knows. So he tries. So now I'm thinking, I'm sitting here thinking, going, so the enemy didn't know that if you throw gold into a fire, you actually start the purifying process. He didn't know this. <laughs> you know, uh, I did, did, did he not know how purifying works? Did he not know how that that sort of action from him is how God steps in and starts proving his points? Did he not know that those sort of behavior from him is where God comes in, turns it around and turns it into a positive and brings the prosperity of your life and brings that growth and brings that fascinating, amazing person out on the other side. Did he not know this at the time? So I want to tell you this morning, my friend, to stand strong. Stand strong. Stand in faith. The fourth man in that fire is protecting you. He's there with you from all sides. And God will bring you out of that fire. He will take you out of that fire, ready and able.